Hey, it's Nick Einotch with Champ U with a Q&A about Arai helmets and Dainese gear. These questions come from our graduates, even our instructors, and we wanted to get to some thoughts that will help not just new riders, but veteran riders as well. We'll start with Arai, some of the questions we get. What does DOT mean, uh, ECE, Snell? Uh, DOT, Department of Transportation, uh, this is a US government standard for any helmet sold in America. The ECE is the EU, European government standard required for all helmets to be sold in Europe. And Snell, Snell is an independent standard. It's run by a nonprofit uh, to help with safety of all helmets. So this is a DOT helmet here. We get a couple questions about this. How long is my helmet good for? And Snell says five years from the first use or seven years after the date of manufacture. Uh, if you have dropped your helmet, which happens sometimes, you just accidentally make a mistake and drop it, uh, Arias says you can send it into them. You have to pay for shipping, but they will check it over for free and make sure it's okay and send it back to you. So thinking about that, if you've dropped your helmet by mistake, Arias will check that out for you. A couple of the questions we get. Can we, uh, can we put water in the helmet on a hot day? Arias says you can, <coughs> excuse me, you can, but it may fog up your shield, so be aware of that. How do I carry my helmet? Arai said what, what they see, they see people just snap this retainer and carry it like that. Be cautious because that, that snap will bust loose. So if you want to carry your helmet by the chin strap, make sure you go through the D-rings and get that buckled correctly, just real quick, through the D-rings. And now you can carry it that way if you like. You can use it as a handy purse as well, which is kind of nice, I think. If it matches what you have on, it's an extra bonus. Arai lets us know a couple things. They see people plunk the helmet on their heads and don't do up the chin strap. Got to get that chin strap done. And again, learn, got to learn how to use it through both, back on the first one, through the second one. Got to get that right. Don't wear your helmet without the chin strap on. Arai sees people struggle with different retention systems on their uh, face shields. Uh, we want to snap that down, and then Arai sees people try to push up on it really hard. Got to pull out and then up. We get a lot of questions about cleaning helmets. and. Uh, Let's go through what we see Arai do, what they've told us to do. Uh, we'll just put this helmet here. It's got some bugs on it. A couple of ways you can do it. First of all, you can take a paper towel. There. Get as wet as you want. Let it sit on there. So you've got your helmet soaking. All the bugs are soaked. Then you want to take a piece of Scotch-Brite and scratch those bugs off. I was just kidding. I just wanted to hear Arai guys just have a heart attack. Did you just have a heart attack, Arai people? That was a joke. Don't use Scotch-Brite. And in fact, don't even use this paper towel. Okay, we don't want to, we just want to use that paper towel just to wet the bugs. We don't want to rub that helmet with it. Uh, it is scratch resistant, but man, you don't want to rub that with paper. You want to use a microfiber cloth, which we have here. So you can do the exact same thing. Wet down your microfiber, let it sit there, let it soak in, you get the idea, and then gently remove those bugs. The rest of the shell can be cleaned in the same way. You can be a little bit, uh, a little bit firmer with it. It doesn't scratch as easily the paint, but again, we would just wet down, get, see some bugs up here. We would just wet down a towel, paper towel, and uh, let it soak and then use our microfiber to clean up when you have that time. Inside, <clears throat> all this stuff is removable. All the cheek pads come out, the headliner comes out, pops out. If you don't have time to pop it out and get, and get it clean, you can just put it in a mild detergent, just hand wash it, let it dry. Don't put it in the clothes dryer. If you don't have time to do that and you are uh, got done with the ride, you can take a microfiber cloth, a very clean cloth, and you can wipe out uh, your helmet. And a lot of us do that. We'll just wipe out our helmet, especially if you sweat it in it. Next step while we're talking about this inner liner is Arai sells three shapes of helmets. A lot of you don't know that. Uh, each helmet uh, model is a different, can be a different shape. And the three shapes are round oval, intermediate oval, and long oval. And they're trying to fit your head a little bit better. So basically, you can buy an Arai helmet model that fits your head maybe a little bit better. I think uh, I'm a long oval. Basically, my head's long this way, oval, and I, that puts me into a couple different models in Arai. Then, if you think, okay, it fits me pretty well, but I'd like to fine tune it, inside the cheek pads, there's a five millimeter splice you can pull out to make it fit a little bit better. A lot of us don't know that. They're inside there. You can pull that little splice out of the way to give yourself a little more room. You can put, put one in if you don't have one. And then, I think most importantly, you can buy all this stuff from Arai. You got the, I've got this one uncovered. All this stuff from Arai, different cheek pads, a different headliner. All this is available 
in different sizing for your model. One of the questions that Arai gets is uh, the cheek pads. They are, they can be reverse fit. Be cautious with this. People break some of the tabs. You can see there's uh, little tabs on here. Make sure these tabs don't get broken by putting the right cheek pad in on the, on the correct side. So be cautious with that. Uh, that's, that's Arai sees people make that mistake. Uh, you can see that what Arai has done is they've got little cutouts here to put in speakers if you'd like. It's a pretty handy system right there. So we have Chatterbox in our helmets at our school and it uh, fits in there very nicely. So we get specific questions. Uh, some of the instructors, we put tape across the top of our helmets. We ride upright bikes at the school. If I rode a bike with clip-ons, I would have my head low enough to that would block my vision. But because I'm on an upright bike, this is just a sun visor. And we, we work up until about five o'clock in the afternoon, sun's low, and this gives me a little bit better line of sight. So that's my homemade sun visor that some of the instructors use, but Arai makes a better one that just goes right on top of your face shield. So they already have that, but uh, we have this. <laughs> so that's uh, good. Real quick on fitment, you want your eyes in the middle of the eye port. Uh, and most, I think it's fair to say, most riders get their helmet a little bit too big. Uh, it fits okay in the uh, showroom and they buy it and then it wears in just slightly and it's too big. And you'll know that because your eyes are too close to the top of the eye port. So we want our eyes See that in the middle of the eye port and if your helmet's too big it'll be way down and i can't even pull mine down but it'll be way down here and you'll have uh, that that's too big if it's too big it's louder it doesn't protect you as well you want to get the fitment just right and uh, arai told me at one point you want it so that when you pull it around it just pulls your skin a little bit and certainly my young skin is you know hard to pull but you know do do what you can but look in the mirror and pull that around a little bit it should pull your skin a little bit if it's a good fitment a related helmet question, should I use earplugs? My bike is not very loud. Riders, yes, use earplugs. We aren't worried about the bike noise as much as we're worried about wind noise. And it's, it's time with noise that hurts hearing. And so you do what Freddie Spencer said, uh, did, a three-time world champion. Freddie would tuck his earplugs right here in there and just tuck them in there. And, and, and I've got, what, one, two, three, earplugs, four earplugs sitting in there just for when I use them. And it, it, this is a smart idea because you, you might be getting ready for your track day and, and be in a rush. You ever done that? Or you're going for a street ride, you've got different gear on, and, but your helmet always has a couple earplugs. And so you just buy some good, good earplugs, you roll them, reach over your head ideally, pull your ear up a little bit, slide them in there. You see the Grand Prix riders wet them a little bit, just spit on them a little bit right there, put those in there, hold them in there, Hold them in there till they expand. That's what, uh, 20 seconds, 15 seconds or so. But earplugs, gigantic. I think if I'm gonna ride down to the store on, on a dual sport bike and go maximum of 35 miles an hour, I may not wear them for that short time, but anywhere else, I wear them. Arai has had a couple helmets returned to them uh, for heat problems. Uh, a rider takes their helmet off, puts it on the top of their box and leaves it there all day while they go to work. And it just leaves it roasting in the sun with the face shield down. Be cautious with that get it out of the, the sun, especially with the face shield down. They've had a problem where a rider sets their helmet on the fuel tank over the fuel cap and the vapors of the fuel get up into the inside and, and make it not smell so good and maybe, maybe break down over time. So be cautious with that. If you have done that, uh, just buy, buy a new set of uh, inner pads. That's pretty straightforward from Arai. All this information can be found on AraiAmericas.com. It's a fabulous website, uh, a lot of information on there about, about everything that you could ever want to know about helmets. We put this together because we get a lot of questions about helmets, and frankly, we didn't know all the answers. It was funny, when Arai came out to uh, help us at the school, uh, Jeff Wheel, uh, motorcycle raider, racer, great guy, we were doing everything wrong. We were setting our helmets on our mirrors. We were putting our helmets down like this and we did everything wrong. We were cleaning our facials with, with a, a, a plastic cleaner product uh, that not made for them. So it was, it was kind of funny. We got in a lot of trouble. And that, that's what started this FAQ idea. Like let's answer some of these questions that we had, the mistakes we were making. My final thought on Arai specifically, not only is it, is it handmade uh, and, and rigorously checked by Arai, uh, a extremely passionate company. But one of the things they're focusing on is not just the liner, not just the, the, the expanded polyestine inside, which, which slows down your head. The helmet hits something, your head is still moving, the liner slows down that, that impact and, and diminishes that impact, and that's very important. But Arai also puts a huge 
emphasis on the shape of their helmets. They follow the egg shape, and you can see egg shaped. And what Arai believes is you, if you are sliding along or landing, if you can cause a, a glancing blow to your head, your head won't have to stop as quickly. So all these extra pieces that are on here, all these vent things, these break away very easily. They're, they're lightweight plastic, but the shell itself is round as, as round as a rye could make it because they want to have less impact with anything you might slide toward, whether it's a fence on the street, into the sand trap, over a curbing on the racetrack. And that means a lot uh, to all of us who do ride uh, motorcycles that these uh, the company like this, like Arai Helmets, puts so much thought into what they do, making it extremely comfortable, super quiet, of course, uh, this shape, super quiet. Uh, a lot of fitments, but most importantly, very safe.